Okay, so no editing here. We're going to keep this simple because there is some miscommunication with the basic garage watt meter. So I'm going to go over a few things and also some common issues. Everybody understand? This is the clamp. Okay. Basically, the this is going to read the alternating current coming out of the amp to the speaker. You only need either the positive or negative side. I would say use the positive side. Run it through here. Now, to connect this to your base head garage, it is the last pin. And there is no positive or negative. It's just continuity. But it also is labeled C for current. Okay. But here's a problem. These pins are very small, which means if you don't just cut enough wire, you have too much wire, it will stick out. And then it could cause the two to touch together. You can see here, if you look up close, the wire could touch so that means i have too much sticking out of too much stripped so what i advise you to do is to just strip enough back for it to grab in here the second big problem you need to loosen these screws first yes you could stick the wire in there but you're not able to clamp it down so what i recommend is loosening these screws which is a very small flathead you might not even have one available so you have to get one but loosen the screw out first, get your wire in where it's not sticking out, and then tighten it down where it's in there tight. Okay, next, you have a center pin, positive and negative. It says V. That is alternating current volts. That is not your DC. So this will go to the positive and negative on the amplifier for the speaker output. This will also test the ohms, the resistance. Yes, you still have to run a positive going out of the amp to your speaker through this. And you do need to tap this into the power and ground or positive negative of the speaker output. That's the alternating current output. Okay. And then finally, your first plug. Power, ground, and remote. Now, again, if you see real quick, I've done it on purpose where there is some wire sticking out. That is no good. Because if the power and ground touch enough, you will short this out. In return, you could short this out. So, that is something that I think should be fixed over time. But, if you do it properly, and you have the right amount of wire sticking out, it should be fine. In this case, it's too much wire was stripped, so some is sticking out and would cause this to touch. What I would recommend is, get this in there very cleanly. And then use a zip tie to hold these together. Then you don't have to worry about it moving. So, to do this, and this is very easy to work, you need 12 volt power, ground, and a remote turn on. That will turn the unit on. You then need alternating current voltage, which is basically the speaker output, positive or negative, from your amplifier. And then you need the clamp, which the positive, which you could do through here if it was tapping in but I like to go directly to the wire going to the speaker, will pass through this clamp. When you have all three plugged in and you have a turn on, this will light up. And as you turn the music up, this will sense how many watts of current are passing from the amplifier to the speaker. Keep in mind, if you're not using a monoblock and you have two wires coming out for the speaker, two positives, you need to stick both in there can't just be one, it would only sense the current of one. Uh, so there is some limitations, but this thing works very well. So you could also combine the two into one and all it has to do is pass through. There is no in and out, it just passes through and it senses the current, the alternating AC current, where this one's gonna sense the AC alternating voltage. And they're labeled VC, voltage clamp and power ground and remote. Now, I can tell you out of well over a thousand of these sold, we've only actually had one or two that were defective. And I think it was more because they shorted it out from doing improper wiring. And I just saw the other day that a guy decided to put his power, the DC, power going through here it's not measuring that it's measuring the alternating current wattage or current 
coming out of the amplifier through the clamp. So I hope I cleared that up. These are an awesome item for $120 or whatever. And uh, yeah, you gotta do a little bit of wiring, but the cool thing is you can mount this up front, run a long wire and put this all the way in the back at your amplifier. Uh, I also did mine with some Cat5 wire, which is very small, thin, and it was not uh, stranded. Stranded means there's multiple wires. You can do a solid line Cat5, which would make it so nothing really sticks out or any frays. That's just some ideas. But we have them in stock. Check them out at BigJeffAudio.com. And before you say it's defective, make sure you're wiring it up correctly. And normally if you have those wires touched, we'll know because there'll be a burn mark on the plug. And obviously that would be for misuse, not a warranty issue. I'll see you on the next one.